Hi, I'm Jason Roush with RPC Electronics, and I'm standing next to our recently converted CNC mill that we've been using recently to produce uh, many of our products that use some kind of housing that needs a cutout of some sort in it. Um, uh, this machine is uh, is allowing us to uh, do a lot of this stuff in-house now, which of course reduces our, our costs, allowing us to produce the products for less, and uh, and then we can pass that on to, to the, to the uh, users uh, at a better price. So uh, one of the things that we're using a lot now is uh, milling jigs. It's a, it's a way to be able to rapidly uh, mill apart without having to reset the machine every time. Uh, we can run through many, many of the same parts at the same time. This product, for example, is a, is a new product that we're just uh, getting ready to st uh, start producing, mass producing and releasing, having available on our website. It's a power pole breakout box, a distribution power pole box. And as you can see, this case, I have, I have one of the cases here that has not been milled yet. It's a standard Hammond case and you can see that we have holes milled on the top as well as the ends and by uh, creating a jig we can easily we can easily mill this top pa panel without having to uh, reset the machine every time and that's one of the things I want to show you in this video uh, show you the, the, the jig that we're actually using as well as show you uh, this part being milled. Okay as you can see here we have a piece of MDF board and you can see there are some crosshairs drawn on the block. These, this crosshair is the exact center of this block. So that allows us to zero the machine to that point for the X and Y and that will give us the exact center. And you can see that there's been a groove milled and that groove accepts this Hammond case top and it fits nice and snug in those grooves and as long as we have this, the machine XY zeroed then we can run the program and mill this part. Okay you can see now that I've got the uh, the top of the case in the jig it's nice and snug and I'm using these two spring clamps to hold in place that's enough to keep it in the jig and keep it from moving around. We've already centered and zeroed out our X and Y axes and we've already ran the, the cutter tool down to the surface and zeroed that as well. We've already loaded the program so all we need to do is run the program. Since this is plastic, we can run the we can run the program fairly quickly without too many problems. If this was metal, aluminum, for example, we'd have to run the cutter at a, at a slower feed rate. But it's plastic, so we can usually cut through it pretty quickly. And that's it, it's complete. There it is. There's our completed part. We've milled the entire top and it didn't take but, uh, the, but about a minute to run that whole program. And by using that jig, we could keep dropping these pieces in just one at a time and run right through them. This is the first of many videos I'd like to do showing how some of the things that we do here at RPC Electronics. As you can tell, we're just a small company that runs out of a, as a, out of a, a regular home and this is our garage and we use our garage for for many things so um, like what I'd like to do is keep producing these videos showing you how some of these things work and make you realize that we're not a big company and and, uh, and we're still able to produce them fairly what I what I would like to think of as very quality products so thanks for watching